All right? So, step three is you determine the church's primary ministries that will implement these characters in people's lives. So, what I do is I take the ministries, all the ministries that a church has, and I used to take the whiteboard and I would list them. I would say, give me a list of the ministries that are taking place in your church, and you could pretty well fill a whiteboard with them. And that doesn't surprise any of you. This is before Tom came out with Simple Church, and probably would still be true even though he's written Simple Church, because not that many people have read it, where he talks about cutting back on the ministries. Now, I don't do that anymore, but I would take all of those ministries if I did, and I'd divide them into two areas, primary and secondary, or I had one guy kind of correct me on that. He said, I don't like looking at some of these things as secondary. And I said, what about support ministries? And he said, okay, that's better. But we're more interested now in the primary ministries. Now, what are the primary ministries? Well, I think I've identified them for you there, or did I? I did a little bit further along. I'll talk more about that in just a moment. Now, in order to implement we have a who and a how, and there are three roles, three, uh, how do I want to say it, uh, three persons involved in implementing these ministries or these characteristics. And one is God, and what is His role? You see it on page 9 in the middle there, the role of God, 2 Corinthians 3.18, we are being transformed into His image. Notice on the bottom of page 9 that there is the role of the Christian in addition. And what I'm saying here is that each one of us is personally responsible for his or her spiritual development. And if it's not going well, we can't say the church made me do it. Now the church might not be getting the job done, but as an individual then you need to find a church where you are going to grow. So again, uh, you can blame the church all you want, but you're, really you are responsible and people have to understand that. You are responsible for your, your spiritual growth and where you are. And then third, this is where the church comes in. The role of the church is to come alongside and help you in that progress. There is no such thing in the Bible of a lone ranger Christian. Amen. And we need one another is what I'm saying here. We need one another. We mature in community, et cetera, et cetera. Where does the Bible say we need one another? Where does it teach that? Ephesians, Paul talking about the body of Christ. Exactly. 1 Corinthians 12 is a good one where they use the metaphor or what image to communicate this? Body. The human body. All right, so that's pretty clear. Now, uh, secondly, now that we look at the, those that are involved in making disciples, we need to understand how churches use their ministries to make disciples. And I come back here and I talk on page 11 at the top about primary and secondary, and I'm focusing on primary in the middle of the page 11, that middle uh, slide. And I say, this is, this is primary ministries. They are the essentials. You have to decide what ministries around here do people critically have to be at if they really want to be a disciple. And that's what the primary ministries are, and there are not very many of them. Here, as I say, you want all of your people, you need to be at, in these ministries, or else we cannot guarantee you anything about coming, becoming a mature believer. Now, we can't guarantee you anything anyway, but this is where we really, as opposed to the secondary or, or support ministries. Now, when I talk about secondary ministries, let me just say a few things and I won't come back to them. Women's and men's Bible studies would be secondary. <coughs> you don't recommend all of your people that they go to those because you don't want men going to the women's Bible studies or vice versa. Vacation Bible school is a secondary ministry. That's what we're talking about here. Uh, we'll look at the primary ministries now. They are the essentials. You want everybody attending these. The core ingredients that make up your whole strategy. They are the pathway. That pathway I was talking about a while ago, those are your primary ministries. Notice we, th they are limited to maybe two, three, four, five at the most, whereas you may have a hundred different ministries. Uh, there aren't that many. Therefore, we can do a few things well. And if we're going to do anything well in our church, it needs to be our primary ministries.